Hello, and welcome to our webinar. My name is Shrey Prajapati. I am the Manager of Marketing and Product Management at Sensorex. Today, we're talking about Sensorex's Smart Sensors, a new digital solution. Here is our agenda for today. We'll be talking about why Smart Sensors, Sensorex's Smart Sensors, the benefits of Smart Sensors, and if you have any questions, we'll be more than happy to answer them and where to get answers for your questions. So why smart sensors? Well, let's take a step back. Let's look at technology in general, the evolution of technology. In this case, we're talking about cars. Let me get my laser pointer here. Now, when you look at 1950, Here's a car, this I believe is a Chevy Impala. Just look at the dashboard, look at the dials that are on there. Now let's move forward to the 2000s. Look how the dashboard has changed. And now in 2018, you see screens. Again, this is the same Chevy Impala, the same model, the same brand that's moved forward to the past 70 years. Similar transformation has happened with phones. In 1950, there were these big rotary dial phones. Now, in the 2000s, there's the, there was the Nokia phone. And in 2018, we see these smartphones like the Samsung and Apple. Again, look how this has transformed over the last 70 years. Same thing can be seen in TVs. Right, we go from these big box television sets in the 1950s to smaller box television sets, and then in 2018, we have these thin, slim, curved LED TVs. A similar transformation has happened in our industry. Right, when you look at 1950, this is the original Arnold Beckman pH meter where you have the pH sensing and the reading portion all included in one. Then we move to the 2000s and you know early part of this decade where we have the sensor connected to a transmitter. And I'm so happy to, to basically say that um, we've integrated the sensor and the transmitter into one sleek and clean package all through a digital communication, namely Modbus. And when you think about digital communication itself, the 4 to 20 milliamp was invented all the way back in 1950, right? And so today we're talking about making all this possible through Modbus protocol. Now, Modbus protocol is a communication protocol used to transmit information over serial lines between electronic devices. It is open and it is very commonly used. Here's a basic schematic of how it works. So you have a master, which initiates a request. It sends it to the client. This could also be referred to as a slave. The client or the slave performs the actions. It initiates a response, and then the master receives a response. And this happens over and over again, thousands of times, to be able to execute on the items that you're requesting to happen. So SensorX smart sensors um, contain a electronics module and a sensing element. Smart sensors have two communication protocol, Modbus and 4 to 20 milliamp. In our portfolio, we contain two pH and ORP probes. Uh, which are the S272 and the S8000 series. There's a contacting connectivity probe, the CS8000. The Toroto probe, which is a TCS3020, a dissolved oxygen probe, which is the DO6400, and we also have another sensor that's not listed here, which is the optical dissolved oxygen, the 8000 or the 9000 series. So the measurements really include 
pH, ORP, contact and conductivity, toroidal conductivity, and dissolved oxygen. We believe that this is a nice breadth and comprehensive set of measurements that can really help you measure any sort of application out there. This portfolio contains both modular and integrated designs, and I'll tell you what that means in just a moment. So, sensor access smart sensors will require a calibration accessory. And here's what I was referring to as far as modular and integrated designs go. So a modular sensor is going to want to use, you're going to want to use this USB cable uh, as the calibration accessory. This USB cable plugs in directly to the back as shown here of the sensor and the other end goes to your PC. The integrated designs use this calibration box. Similarly, what happens is you connect up your wires to these terminal ends right here and then a wire coming out from the calibration box goes to your PC. You can connect up multiple sensors to a single calibration box or a USB cable. So effectively, if you've got multiple sensors, you only need one of each calibration accessory. They're not exclusive to each parameter. So let's take, it the, let's take a look at the benefits of smart sensors. The main benefit of smart sensor is that you no longer need a transmitter. There are certain applications where there is absolutely a need to have a viewable display, but there are also several other applications where you may not need to have a display where a sensor is located perhaps in a remote location or that you're trying to basically reduce the cost of the overall loop. Here, a smart sensor is ideal, right? So the key benefits really includes simple installation, configuration, and maintenance. You can use multi-drop connections. There is a web-based configuration and maintenance software that you can use. As I mentioned, there's no transmitter required in loop, which really reduces the installation costs, the need uh, for excessive wiring into a transmitter then to your control uh, and you know this really means that there are fewer points of failure because now effectively you've removed one uh, point of failure from your loop. So the next few slides I'm going to be talking about traditional versus digital architecture and I just wanted to define what those are here. A traditional infrastructure includes an analog sensor that could put out a raw output or 4 to 20 milliamp output going into a controller or transmitter. Then the controller transmitter converts that into a Modbus output, a Profibus output, Ethernet or what have you going to the control room versus a digital infrastructure where you have a smart sensor that puts out a Modbus output and goes straight to a control room. So there's no need for that conversion. All the conversion happens right here at the head of the smart sensor. So when you look at the potential value of Modbus sensors, right, you have to baseline it with the traditional infrastructure. So you've got a general purpose pH sensor, which would usually cost you about $350, a transmitter or an analyzer with digital communication, that would probably cost you around $1,300. And so that brings your total price of the loop at $1,650. Compare that to a digital, a digital sensor with a digital infrastructure. You're looking at basically a Modbus pH sensor, in this case, the S8000, which would be only $650. Now, Clearly, right, Modbus sensors significantly reduce your initial installation cost, um, and in this case, by $1,000. Now, going further, right, let's take an example of uh, what a two-channel loop, a four-channel loop, and an eight-channel loop, compare that to what SensorX's uh, solution looks like. So this is basically a cost table where you've got number of sensors, 
from one through eight. And on the top here, you've got the different setups. So in any scenario, you can see if you've got a, a two channel loop with one sensor on it, that is, that's gonna cost you 1650, like we said in the example. The sensor resolution with the price of the cow box, um, all included, um, would be 895. Now you carry that through all throughout the table, in which you can see that even at the most economic and cost-effective setup, where you've got eight channels and eight loops, the sensor X solution is still cheaper. And you understand, right? I think people understand out there that if you've got one eight-channel transmitter with eight sensors plugging into it, that is highly risky. Because what happens if that transmitter goes down, right? Now you're out eight measurements. And so really from a, a risk manage, management standpoint, um, that's not something that you want to do. But even if you were to do it, the smart sensors, uh, loop, you're still more cost effective. And so at eight sensors, an eight channel loop is four, per, the smart sensors are uh, 4% uh, less pricey. With a four channel loop, meaning you would have two four channel transmitters, it's 19% less pricey. And if you look at two channel loop, which is most commonly found in industry, a smart sensor setup, a digital infrastructure setup, is just about 40% less pricey. So um, really here, right, what I'm trying to point out with uh, the price of the cow box is the USB cable for the 8000 series has a little price on that of the cow box, uh, but this is just kind of an average average price here. So, um, to, to give you you know kind of a summary of this slide is, uh, no matter what setup that you have out there, we can say that the digital infrastructure is going to be more cost effective for you. Let's take a look at benefits with a little bit more granularity. First thing is you're going to get more visibility of your process. And this is because of the digital communication. A traditional transmitter with one, two, or even three lines of display is not going to be able to show you all this information. With digital communication, you get whatever the liquid analysis variable is. It could be pH, RP, conductivity, dissolved oxygen, right, temperature, and more. But in addition to that, you also get calibration history, you get diagnostics, you get the serial number or the tag name of the sensor. You get all this information um, that's relevant for you to do maintenance. The installation is also simple. We have contoured bodies for improved grip, threaded connection, no tooling really required, simple cabling. So there's no need for kind of this home run wiring, which significantly reduces your cost of cabling when you go to replace a sensor. You also get quick configuration, all made possible from the web-based software. So here you can set the modbus address, the baud rate, the operating mode. Um, you can take a look at the, the temperature coefficient or set the temperature coefficient. And here's a couple couple screenshots of what that looks like. As you can see, it's kind of this clean, simple, easy to use uh, user interface. Um, the maintenance is also easy to do. You can essentially plug and play on a PC uh, via the web-based software. Sensors calibrate rather quickly, and you get access to the last calibration date, uh, which is really important when you're trying to figure out when was the sensor last calibrated and when do I need to do it next time. Now, let's talk about the benefits of having a digital platform. One of the biggest benefits is that your sensor increases in value as you have it. Right? This is unlike any other sensor out there, which usually deteriorate over time. Now, the reason I say increase in value is because we at SensorX are continually working on feature enhancements which you can get by updating the software and the firmware of your sensor. When you do that, you will get the latest software updates, features, and enhancements directly on your sensor and on your PC-based software without having to purchase a brand new sensor. 
which is amazing when you think about in our industry. So to summarize, why smart sensors? Well, really, you know, we kind of talk through the evolution of technology, and I truly believe that this is the next platform in the liquid analysis industry. They report many variables and pertinent information that's important to you. The benefits include more visibility, simple installation, quick configuration, easy maintenance, and field updates, which are huge. The differentiators really is that it's an open source protocol. It has a lower cost of ownership, and they are technologically robust. So what are the next steps? Well, if you're interested in purchasing our smart sensors, contact your local representative. For distributors and resellers, that would be Eric Perez. For OEM and integrators, it's Tim Schiltz. For anyone residing in Europe, that would be Andreas Peltz. For India, contact T.A. Kumar. For the rest of the world, you should contact Bridget No Trin. And if you'd like to purchase a sensor, uh, you can always do that through our website or email us at orders at sensorx.com. And if you're thinking about purchasing or using or trialing smart sensors and you have questions, please let us know how we can further assist you. Thank you for listening. Please be sure to visit our website at www sensorx.com. Follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. We continuously post updates on our latest projects and products, so we really appreciate the follow. -up.